Thanks for joining us. Again, we have uh, Eddie Bowles here with us. Man of God, I'm so excited that you are here. I know God is going to do great things through you, through this. And, uh, you know, this is a new thing for us, and I just want to thank you so much for being a part of it. They are our first guests, and they are here to share their life story. That is him and his wife, whom we'll hear from in just a moment. Uh, I want to start off right off the bat and, and ask you, what, where do you pastor? And tell us a little bit about the church that you attend. Well, we are members of the Center for Manifestation, Manifestations Worldwide, under the, the direction of Dr. Mark T. Jones and uh, First Lady Lisa Jones. Uh, we're located at 3102 East Lake Avenue in Tampa, Florida, and we've been there now uh, a little over eight years. Wow, wow. Yes, that is Apostle Mark, my spiritual father. I'm telling you, a dynamic man of God. You must check it out. What's the website can you give us? www.centerformanifestation.com In fact, if you look on down on your screen, it's probably strolling right now for you. Log on anytime and we'll certainly get you connected. I want to ask you right off the bat, how did you get started in ministry? Well, it's very interesting because when me and my wife first met, we were attending um, uh, her brother-in-law's church. He's a wow. pastor in the area also. And uh, we were attending that church, and it just for some reason, it wasn't clicking with me. Mm. Um, and so we were invited to the Center for Manifestations by her sister. Wow. And um, we um, attended the first time, and I tell you, the first moment that I walked in the doors of the Center for Manifestation, I knew that was a place for us. Mm. Because the atmosphere was just such where it just welcomed you. Wow. And then after hearing the man of God open his mouth and begin to speak the word of God, I said, this is it. We, have to go no we don't have to go anywhere else. I knew that this was the place mm -hmm. for us. And we end up getting, um, you know, giving our life to Christ, you know, um, on that very evening. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just been, um, it's, it's been dynamic. And that's been the story ever since. We haven't looked back since. Wow. Now, Pastor Eddie, if, if I could ask you this question, would you say that it was the word that impacted you or was it the spirit in the atmosphere? It, it was came? it was a combination of both. It was the spirit in the house. It was the spirit of God that you felt when you walked through the doors. Mm -hmm. And then again, once, um, like I said, once the man of God began to expound on the word of God, it was like nothing that I ever heard before. I mean, it was just dynamic. You could understand it. I mean, he makes it so that even the uh, more mature in Christ can understand it, but also the babes in Christ can understand it. And I knew at that time it was exactly what I needed mm -hmm. because I was coming out of a world yeah. of perversion and, mm -hmm. and, and, and dysfunction mm -hmm. and, um, you know, perverted mindsets and yeah. these types of things. So I needed mm -hmm. that impartation in my life. And when he began to speak, it was like it just hit me just like that. And I knew that that was the place for me. Wow. Now, you, you mentioned a lot of personal things that you were coming out of and being delivered from. That transparency must have been something new. Did, were you always that transparent? Um, no, not really. Because um, my personality is really, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a shy person, if you can believe that. Wow. So I really don't like doing Don't Would your wife say the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. She would. Okay, she we're going to ask her after. Okay. <laughs> okay, she would. I mean, this is really not my type of forum. I'm mm -hmm. really a more of a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh -huh. But it's interesting because those things that um, you don't like are usually the things that God uh, makes manifest in your life wow. once you yes. give your life to Christ and you tap wow. in to that thing that God has purposed for mm -hmm. your life. Because I really never liked speaking in front of people. Mm -hmm. That was the one thing. I had a uh, course when I was in college at University of South Florida. Yes. I took a public administration course. And one of the requirements was for us to have to give an oral presentation two times a week. Wow. The first day in the class when I saw the syllabus, I said, I got to get out of this class. I dropped the class after the first week because it required me to speak. Mm -hmm. But it's so interesting that that same thing is what God has me doing wow. now. Wow. Now, uh, before we get to your wife here on stage with you, I just want to ask you this. What a word of advice would you give a young preacher coming up today that's looking at this production and saying, you know what, I, wanna, I feel called into ministry, I feel led, uh, but they're not quite comfortable with the calling yet. What would you give them today? My advice would be find that place. Allow God to lead you to a place where you have a spiritual father who only has your best interest spiritually mm. at hand. 
He's not looking for anything from you because we encounter so many people right. that they say they were involved in ministry, but mm -hmm. you know it was a, it was a situation to where there was a benefit involved. Right. You know, find a place where a spiritual father his only his only concern is your spiritual development mm -hmm. and tap in there. Wow. Well, when we get back, we're going to hear from uh, Gail Bowles, his wife. She's going to come up and give us some insight on what it takes to keep the marriage fresh. And we're going to ask them a few more questions. Now, we're talking about love, friendship, relationships, and marriage. So this is a great opportunity. Stay tuned. You'll hear from us soon.